Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Rick and I'm your captain on this channel and if you don't know by now I'm also your chef. Now I have another fish inspired recipe to share with you and it's none other than a Laotian inspired recipe because yes I'm Laos. I'm going to take you across the country back to my roots and we're going to be making today a mok Ba. It's essentially a steamed fish, except we're going to use the halibut. We'll mix it with herbs, vegetables, Thai eggplant, fermented fish sauce, and wrap it in a banana leaf. We'll steam it for 30 minutes and we'll let it do its thing. We'll let all those flavors marry. And by the time it's done in a half hour, we'll be able to take that sweet sticky rice. We'll dip it in there. And I can't wait to share it with you. My mouth is already watering. It's again, a very, very close dish to me as I was a kid and I can't wait to share it, so stand by. Well, I just wanna get cooking, but these ingredients are smelling so good, they're aromatic, but I know I always have to share the ingredients with you, otherwise you'll never know what to do. So let me do that really quick. I have cilantro, green onions, ginger, garlic, shallots, kaffir lime leaves. We need some Thai eggplant, dill. We also need some galanga root any mushrooms, I have shiitake because that was from my last recipe, but any mushrooms will work just fine. Banana leaves, you can get them fresh or frozen. I like them fresh. I can taste the difference between fresh and frozen, and this is the way that I'm going. We'll need some squid brand fish sauce. Don't use the other fish sauce, it's a little bit sweeter. Um, we'll need some fermented fish sauce, and don't be alarmed by this one. Don't be intimidated, it's super delicious if you use it in moderation. We need MSG, and then you're always gonna have to find a way to get that fish and Captain Rick always has the fish. Well, I may have forgot to mention, we'll need to soak some sticky rice. We'll take some of this out. We'll use that for the uh, mokba recipe. And we'll steam the rest to eat. Let's do it. All right, so I have my steam pot ready to go. This is what I use for the crab during the season. I got a really big one because the crabs are really big, the ones that we usually get. And then I have the rice cooker. This is what we're using to make the sticky rice. You need a rice basket, you need a pot. And you can find that at an Asian store as well. So to save some time for the video, I've chopped everything up for you. I've taken the eggplants, I've quartered them, I've taken the dill, I have them, I've taken the cilantro, I quartered them, I've taken the green onions, and I, what looks like a, a half, half or an inch, it doesn't matter, and then just rough chop the onions. Well, once again, home chef forgot to tell you we need some lemongrass. How can I ever be Laos? If I forget lemongrass, I mean, come on. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm going to cheat. So I'm just gonna chop these up and then I'll put them in a, in a blender. Ooh, I did forget to say I need some galanga root. Now, this galanga root, it's pretty expensive for a root. Okay, so you don't need a whole lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and shave off. Don't judge me, I'm trying to rush through, I'm just gonna cut off all of the brown outer shell. We just want the inner, it's a very tough root. Okay, it's not, it's not like ginger at all. We'll just set that aside. All right, it's time to take care of the fish and what we're gonna do is take these fillets. This is a quarter of the large side of the halibut, not the white side, the dark side. So we'll take this quarter and we'll literally just cut it in half. We want nice, large chunks to put into it, and we're gonna wrap four, and that should be enough for literally four people. And if you're really hungry, two people, so two a piece, two wraps a piece. We'll place the fish nice and neat into here, and we'll throw in all of those herbs. Right here, I've dumped all of the vegetables in here. And I, I want to use more halibut, but folks, I don't have any more until I go fish for some more. So this is going to be a veggie-filled halibut. So each of these uh, halibut are going to have a nice full uh, thing of vegetables, which is nice too. I like more meat, but it's all I got. It's the only fish I have left. We'll make it work. 
Okay, so then we'll throw in what we bursted up. Lemongrass, garlic, galanga, ginger. And I got one more ingredient to add. So do you remember the rice that I took out from the sticky rice? We'll need some of that with about a, a half cup of water. And we'll just add it to the rest of this. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to scoop this in there. I'll be right back. Maybe a little over a half or a little under a half a cup of rice. Okay, I'm just winging it, guys. I don't have a permanent recipe because I cook for my heart, like I said. Do the best. If you can see for yourself, let's let's call that a quarter cup. Let's be fair. And then uh, what appears to be a quarter cup of water. And we'll blend this up. We do want to puree this. Let's go. Okay, we want that to get very, very fine because we don't want a gritty halibut dish. Okay, and there's the work that we've done. We'll just add it. Okay, we'll add some MSG. This is probably a teaspoon. Okay, bear with me. This is the fish sauce we're putting in. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna estimate. I feel like that's about three to four tablespoons. Okay, so don't be intimidated by this one. This is the fermented fish sauce. Let's go with uh, four to five tablespoons of that. Man, I almost forgot about the mushrooms. Let me chop these up really quick. I forget a lot of things in the kitchen. Guys, when I'm cooking from the heart and I don't have a final recipe, I'm just kind of working this as I For go. For all you vegetable lovers, we're having vegetables with halibut tonight <laughs> instead of a halibut. Uh, so I went ahead and put some gloves on because I'm gonna be using my hands. Remember the halibut is at the bottom. You do not want to break the halibut. Just if you find the halibut at the bottom, gently lift it. So I'll take this banana leaf out of its wrapper. It's huge, okay? So we only want a little bit of it. I mean, back in the country, Folks actually build houses with this. It's crazy. But I'm just gonna take some of this, I'll portion it out. I really just wanna portion it for the four halibut that we're using. So we'll use maybe about, a, let's call that a 10 by 10, or just roughly 12 by 12, whatever you end up getting. Okay, we'll just get a few pieces off. But like I said, if you get the frozen one, it is cheaper. The frozen one is about $1.99 a pound, and um, this fresh one is a little bit more expensive. It's probably like about $2 a pound. It's, oh, wait, no, that doesn't sound right. I think it's like $2.50 a pound. It's like 50 cents more. All right, I'm just gonna do one, just so you can see what it, what's going on here. I'm gonna take two banana leaves, just like that. We'll take some kefir lime leaves, we'll throw it right at the bottom, those beautiful kefir lime leaves that I got for my brother. I like mine spicy, so I'll just put some peppers at the bottom. I'll take a piece of the halibut. We'll grab some vegetables, toss it on top. Make sure you get every vegetable. Then we're gonna wrap it. And then we'll wrap it. If you know a better way to do it, more power to you. Even if you want to use tin foil, that would work as well. And then I'm just going to hold it in place with some skewers. Careful not to poke yourself. That's it. And all you're really doing is just making sure you have a wrap. That's it. The only time okay. that bananas are allowed is off the boat. Just saying. So here's a recipe that calls for banana anything. It is allowed. Technically, by law.
I'm sure that that banana anything is allowed off the boat. On the boat, you would get hung. Okay, don't do this on the boat. Just saying. That's it, we're done. I just throw that on top. That's just the vegetables, leftovers. There you have it. We'll let that go for 20, excuse me, 30 minutes. That way everything softens up. All right, so I already have my pot boiling up. I'll just throw that on top. Put the cover on it. We set the timer for 30 minutes and I will see you later. All right, well our rice is steamed up beautifully for about an hour. I'm just gonna mix this up just a bit to get that steam out and then we'll put it in the bamboo rice basket. Here we go. This is not about how to make sticky rice. If you want to learn how to make sticky rice, I'm sure there's dozens of YouTube videos out there, but literally you just need the bamboo rice basket, the sweet rice, and patience, because it does take an hour. All right, you folks ready for this? All right, I'm gonna see if I can grab one and put it over there. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to take this out carefully and I'll set it on this plate and that's it and we'll unwrap in just a second. All right, so I know that seems pretty difficult but all of the ingredients, if you can find them at a local Asian store or wherever you can find and source the ingredients, it is one that you're not gonna want to miss. Here is Captain Rick's Mokba halibut from the halibut that we caught from the San Francisco Bay. Folks, this is a super easy dish. As long as you can find the ingredients, however, it's so good. It's got all kinds of herb flavors, the vegetables. The halibut is super, super tender. You got the galanga, the ginger, you've got the, um, the Thai eggplant and all of those ingredients marry perfectly and that fermented fish sauce is used just enough it's a hint of fishiness that's so perfect and pairs so well we'll eat this with sticky rice i'm going to go eat i hope you guys give this a shot all right for all of the work that we've done let's go give it a taste so i'm going to dive right in to the fresh sticky rice that we made earlier and then we'll go straight into this this is a finger food so we're just going to take a nice scoop. Just let me get some of that eggplant. And here we go. Let's go for it. Mmm. Oh wow. You get the halibut for sure. You get the, all of the root vegetables, the ginger, the galanga, kaffir lime leaves, the dill, everything absolutely perfect and you get a hint of the banana and that's the only time that I will tell you my fellow fishermen that I will say that I love bananas bananas not allowed on the boat in the kitchen no problem so I'm gonna dig in I hope you guys give this recipe a try I will check you out I will see you on the next one